In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Good morning, Father. As we gather together today, we remember St. Thomas Becket, a 12th century martyr for the faith in England. And so let us call to mind our God who showers us with mercy and let us ask ourselves the question, would we be willing to offer our life for the truth of the church? You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who gave the martyr St. Thomas Becket the courage to give up his life for the sake of justice, Grant through his intercessions that renouncing our life for the sake of Christ in this world, we may find it in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, the way we may be sure that we know Jesus is to keep his commandments. Whoever says, I know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. This is the way we may know that we are in union with him. Whoever claims to abide in him ought to walk just as he walked. Beloved, I am writing no new commandment to you, but an old commandment that you had from the beginning. The old commandment is the word that you have heard. And yet I do write a new commandment to you, which holds true in him and among you. For the darkness is passing away, and the true light is already shining. Whoever says he is in the light, yet hates his brother, is still in the darkness. Whoever loves his brother remains in the light, and there is nothing in him to cause a fall. Whoever hates his brother is in darkness. He walks in darkness and does not know where he is going because the darkness has blinded his eyes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all people his wondrous deeds. 
but let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. The Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty go before him. Praise and grandeur are in his sanctuary. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth rejoice. of Jesus took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord, and to be offered the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons, in according with the dictates of the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devoted, awaiting the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him that the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen Christ of the Lord. He came in the spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought the child Jesus and performed the customary law regarding the, him, he took him into his arms and blessed him, saying, Now, Lord, let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you prepared for the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. The child's father and mother were amazed at what was being said about him. And Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted. And you yourself, a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Today, as we remember uh, the presentation of Jesus in the temple, and uh, Simeon and Anna, who's not mentioned in today's gospel, uh, but who was very much present there, uh, that uh, Simeon and Anna were advanced in great age, and uh, they were faithful, constantly faithful, which fits in perfectly with St. Thomas Becket, who is a martyr of the 12th century, where he 
uh, followed St. Anselm as the Bishop of uh, Canterbury. And it was uh, during the time uh, of Henry II that uh, the question arose, who's running the church? <laughs> that was exactly the question that was being raised. Who is running the church? <laughs> is it going to be uh, the bishop, the chief teacher of the faith, or is it going to be Henry II? And what happened was Thomas of Becket was faithful to the church. And just like Simeon and Anna, uh, being totally faithful, he laid down his life uh, for the sake of the gospel and for the sake of truth. The question that I posed at the beginning of uh, today's Mass uh, can be asked in, in another way also. If we were being persecuted in today's world by a civil authorities, Henry II was a civil authority, would there be enough evidence against us to convict us to death? because we were faithful to the gospel. May we be faithful people like Simeon and Anna and St. Thomas Becket, who died at the foot of the altar of the cathedral of Canterbury. Let us continue our prayer to the Lord. For the Christmas joy of our universal church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the unity of all Christians, and the salvation of all God's people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the, for the defense of human life and religious liberty, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead and the comfort of all who grieve, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for our silent intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we ask all these things in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, presented in the temple this day, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this fruit of the fields. The work of human hands will become for us our spiritual bread of life. Blessed is God forever. Through the mingling of this wine and water, may we share in the divinity of Christ, humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands who will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash me of uh, my iniquities and cleanse me of all my sins. Pray, my sisters and my brothers in baptism, that the offering we bring to this holy altar might become the sacrifice which is acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands, hands for the praise, praise and glory, glory of his name, name, for our good and the good of all his holy, holy church. church. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray, and by your grace may we be set afire with the flame of your love through which St. Thomas Becket became a bodily offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up, up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for the blood of the blessed martyr Thomas Becket, poured out like Christ to the glory of your name, and shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear witness to you through Christ. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The 
mystery of faith. Save Amen. us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, Curtis, our retired Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, her own good and holy husband Joseph, the blessed apostles Peter and Paul, the martyrs especially Thomas Beckett, Saint Anthony our patron, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, for the, kingdom the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with and your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer this peace of Jesus to each other. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of our world. 
Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my life, but only say the word of my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us the determination which made your blessed martyr Thomas of Becket faithful in your service and victorious in his sufferings through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And through the prayers of the Holy Mother of God, together with all the saints, especially our patron, St. Anthony, may the Lord bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. As we prepare for a new year, may we pray for the eradication of the pandemic and for uh, healing of homes and reuniting of families. <laughs>